So it is a little bit past Chazot, which is midday, on the holiday of Tishbav. Tishbav is it's a very sad time, and after Chazot, after midday, on Tishbav, we relax some of the prohibitions we're not allowed to do. And the reason is because the destruction had ended by this time. On Tisha B'Av, we merit, we, sorry, we mourn the destruction of our temples, both of them, and our expulsion from the land of Israel. Now they say at this point, the whole city, the whole temple of Jerusalem was on fire, so they ablaze. And it's funny that while we're at this time, this time frame, where we have the fire burning in Jerusalem, here in Philadelphia, where I'm located right now, it's raining outside. It's, it can mean one of many things. Um, and I have two opinions about why it is raining at this time. One is God's tears and is actually God crying with us as I'm mourning the temple and saying I'm with you guys here even today on this destruction, on this sad day. I'm still here mourning with you. And the second is that it's God's it's God put way of putting out the fire and saying that we have repented enough or we're getting closer to what we need to do, what we need to be in order to have the redemption coming. And it's God's way of saying that I will put out the fire and I'll rebuild the temple. We still have another little over seven hours to go until the fast is over for Tisha B'Av this year. Now, use this time to, to think about what we've gone through in the past and our hardships what we can accomplish together if we stay in as one and do not separate. What we can do as Jews united together. Watch a video on the Holocaust. Go watch something else in Torah about this day. Learn about this day and destruction that happened during this time. Read a book of Job. There are certain things that we can do this day to learn. And that we should do, if we're capable of it. I wish you guys an easy fast the rest of the time. For those of you still fasting, and may be married to have Mashiach come and the building of the third temple. Spare your days, amen.